Hello everyone, this is Andy and welcome to my channel Andy Learn and Share. I hope you guys are doing well. So today I have come up with this video and the topic of the video is top 10 RPA interview question and answers. So this is one of the most and most popular topic right now in the market on robotic process automation. So based on my own experience and based on my observation and research, I have bring up on this video and this video will tell you what are the top 10 RPA interview questions, questions and answers. So if you know the, the answer of these questions, then I can say at least you are at least 60 to 70% through the you know, interview. But this is a, let me tell you, this is a general RPA question. So this question is not related to any of the RPA tools. So if you are into any uh, RPA tools, then you should know the architecture and you should know the questions and answers related to that tool. But because this question and answer is only the general question and answer for robotic process automation. So the first question any interviewer or, or the manager, RPA manager will ask you, what is robotic process automation? What is RPA? The full form of RPA, I know that all of you know that robotic process automation, but what is RPA? RPA is a type of software that is used to do automation of a fundamental task in software application like how a human performs it. You know, in a, in a, in a, what do you say, uh, in a very easiest term, if I want to tell is what is RPA, it's like RPA is a software that will mimic or that will do exactly the same what the, the process and all what the human being is currently doing. So that is the basic definition of RPA. I have shown you in the screen that the left hand side, the blue color steps you can see the human is performing. So this is as is process and the right hand side you can see the green color one that is robo, robot is robots it's robo is performing. So this is RPA you know the previous one as is process is like the current process that in your uh, process or in your industry that you are currently performing. But if the same steps are being performed by robo then that is called robotic process automation. So this is most popular and uh, you know frequently asked question by any manager. Number two is what are the top five RPA tools available in the market? And the number three is what are the different stages of uh, RPA? So moving to the uh, question number two, top five RPA tools. Uh, there are several, you know, more than 20, 30 uh, RPA tools currently available, uh, available in the market. But these are the top five RPA tools, UiPath, Blue Prism, Automation Anywhere, Walk Fusion, and OpenSpan. So these are the top five RPA tools currently available in the market. And the third one is what are, what are the different stages of RPA? So these are the main five phases of RPA, which is like analyze phase or discovery phase, design phase, development phase, test phase, and deployment or the production or the maintenance phase. So. Uh, the first phase analyze phase and that is where you will discover uh, whether the project can be automated or not design phase is where you will build uh, the process design document solution design document or technical design document third one is development phase where you will develop the bot the fourth fourth one is like test phase where you will test whether the bot is working fine or not and the last one is like deployment phase where you will move that code to the production and also side by side you will support the maintenance team will support that uh, production board. So these are the main five phases of RPA. The fourth and you know, this is one of the questions that wherever I have attended in interview, they have asked me. So this is very popular question. What is the client and what, what is thin client? So this please remember uh, everyone. This is very popular question that please remember the logic behind this also. So the client is uh, are the applications which are directly installed and you know, it can be run in a local machine like the application notepad calculator or any of the web based application or desktop based application that is currently in your desktop or a local machine that is called the client and those clients are very good for uh, you know robotic process automation because uh, you know the any of the rpa tool they can easily integrate uh, with that uh, thin client but thin client is you know it will not run on the local machine it runs on virtual clients or server architecture like citrix you know virtual machines vmware etc 
so this is the basic difference between the thick lined and the thin thin lined next one is like what are rpa bots and how to create it so rpa <coughs> rpa bots are the software robots which are created in rpa tools like ui path blue prism automation anywhere and that is uh, that bot is used to automate process or task so this is the main definition of rpa bots how do you create a bot either you will record or you will create the task in the rpa tools and then you will complete the bot integration or implementation and then once it is completed you will test the bot and finally if it is working fine as per the requirement then you will upload that bot into production to perform the automation task the number 6 question what is the what are the advantages of rpa this is also one of the most frequently asked question so you should know you know after implementing rpa what are the benefits uh, it is very the efficiency of the task is improved since it is being performed by robo then the task efficiency of the task will be improved and the task are performed quick and without any error yes because the robo is performing so you know it will not perform any errors and the products uh, the productivity will in, will be increased because the robo can work 24 by 7 so always the productivity will be in, increased cost savings is uh, always there and the tat or the turnover and time is decreased yes because robo can work faster than human human being so the tat will also decrease so these are only few advantages I, that i have highlighted although there are several several other advantages as well but these are the main or the core benefit of rpa and the seventh is you know what is the difference between rpa and macro this is also one of the most popular questions that most of the managers or rpa people they will ask you uh, when you face interview so you should know the difference between rpa or the robots and macro a uh, robo they can learn and enhance itself from the repetitive process but macro it doesn't learn robo can act autonomously but macro it doesn't uh, act autonomously robo can respond to external stimuli and reprogram itself like you know if any new uh, exception or new situation comes then robot can uh, you know it can automatically readjust 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 itself to perform that task but if there is a uh, slight something like extra pop ups come in terms of macros then it will fail robo is highly secured automation uh, you know the security perspective of uh, rpa tools it is very good whereas macro in terms of macro the security is not of uh, you know high priority moving to the next eighth question uh, rpa process selection so how do you i mean what are the process you select which is fit for automation this this is also you know most frequently asked question so the process should be rule based and the process should be repetitive and of high volume the process should be stable and standard and input data should be appropriate and digital and the logins of the application should be without captcha so these are the you know main criteria that you you'll have to consider before you select uh, the process for robotic process automation and the ninth question is like what are the limitations of rpa yes some of them may ask you know what are the limitations of uh, uh, rpa so you can tell them the task with decision making and judgmental if there is a steps that human being has to perform and they have to take the decision and if that particular task is judgmental then that is not fit for automation and if the applications or the if the user interface of any application is not so stable then that uh, particular uh, application or the process is also uh, you know not suitable for automation because that is very error prone and the third one is like cost of implementation is higher although uh, it is cheaper than if you want to uh, migrate uh, the version of your application to new version then the cost of that is higher than rpa but also rpa itself is also higher Uh, if you want to implement it fully end to end because there are so many factors like license cost cost of the developers cost of the team cost of the maintenance cost so those are the things uh, you know overall you can see but although it is cheaper than the human being but also you know if if the process is uh, of less volume or if the process is of uh, 
the what do you say uh, less volume uh, rather it is less volume only then it is uh, you know not advisable to implement rp on that the last question is very important what are the important aspects aspect to be considered in planning phase of automation so you should understand before you plan for automation you should know these are the things you know selecting the right type of rp tool is very important because you know some rp tools are designed for a specific kind of process so you know selection of rpa tool is very important and selecting the right framework yeah dif different tool have different kind of framework so before you uh, go into rpa you should know that you should select the right kind of framework for that particular process and various other items such as like you should know what are the in scope and what are the out of scope of that process you know that depends upon the process of the task and your test environment should be ready you know because that is where we test uh, whether the robo is working fine or not and the last one is like identification of deliverables this is very important because you should know the correct uh, uh, process before you implement rp on that process okay so thank you for uh, watching this video if you like this video then please like subscribe or comment and if you have if you want to know more of or if you need any other information about rpa or training then you can contact me or you can email me you can see the email address of um, my channel uh, on your screen and you can also please comment or share or like and you know please subscribe this cha cha channel so thank you for watching this video have a nice day